What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of Skyrim, specifically Enderal. And uh, one of you guys pointed out something that, uh, for whatever reason, I just wasn't noticing. Um, you'll notice on these little pillars here, and we're back in the little memory location which you access by uh, using meditation. Um, there's little notches. So, like, there's this one right here on the ground, Shadows of the Wind. Uh, and then you got these little dots that kind of look like skill trees from... What do you call it? Uh, the the normal perks and such. So uh, this is the rogue line. Uh, I believe over here is the magic line, and then over here I think is the fighter line. Now I can kind of choose whichever one I want. I, I don't know about this thing over here. In fact, I don't think this does anything other than just, I guess, look really. Oh wow, that that does look really freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Uh, but for the intents and purposes of this playthrough, uh, mainly because of the popularity and because of my play style, we are going to go with the rogue line. So the rogue line starts off with Shadows of the Wind. This memory unlocks all rogue disciplines for you. Your stamina regeneration is boosted by 20% and you receive the talent Shadow of the Wind, which lets you move more silently for a short period of time and raises your critical hit chance. So we're going to go ahead and learn that. Uh, well, I guess it tells you all right here. So tier one, 7% higher critical hit chance, 25 second duration. Uh, tier two is, wow, it's interesting that the durate, or the uh, setup doesn't increase, but it, it does unlock um, just a, a longer duration, which I guess is fine. All right, so we're gonna unlock that. And you can see, we kind of learn like uh, the word, like you would from normal Skyrim. And you can see that the little light lights up here. Now I can go ahead and pick more of that if I so choose. And then from here, we have a bunch of different options. So if we pick up Deviousness, the memory of the Infiltrator improves your skill in sneaking, your rhetoric, and your pickpocketing. Tier 1, the chance to be detected by enemies while sneaking is reduced by 15%. The price of merchants are 15% better. Tier 2, the chance to be detected by enemies while sneaking is reduced a, by another 12%. So that's a total of 27%. The price of merchants by an additional 5 which gives you a total of 20% increase. So I think we are going to go ahead and pick that up as well. And you can see at the top, uh, that's a, a bunch of German that basically says I'm out of points at this point. Now from here, uh, there is Throat Cut. Um, if you attack while sneaking, your critical hit chance is increased by 10%. Um, and then from there, we have the Assassin setup. Sneak attacks with one of them to do 2.5 times damage. Does not apply for daggers. Now, I believe there is one that does work with daggers. Sneak attacks with bows, do 2.5 damage, and then... Knife thrust, sneak attack with daggers, now do four times damage. We are probably going to head in this route, so we'll go boom, boom. Now keep in mind, we are going to want to uh, kind of beef these up over time. Uh, we're definitely not going to want to just stick with uh, the default setup, so to speak. But um, since we are doing the whole, you know, assassin type deal, we are going to need to get some of the basics. And, and keep in mind, some of you guys pointed out that, you know, I was doing very well with the magic and the magic was being very effective. Keep in mind, part of the reason that it's being so effective right now is it does early on scale very Shit. well. And Not then in bad. my in my uh, experience, at least later on, it kind of scales rather poorly. So it's one of those things that, you know, yeah, it's really, really cool now. But it might not be so cool later on. Uh, keep in mind also that this is just a starter dagger. Uh, I think this is weapons. So yeah, uh, we, we're doing a, a measly three damage, which is pretty shit. Uh, I can move up to an old sword, which is going to kick my damage up just a bit. But for the most part, our, our damage just is, is kind of garbage. Now keep in mind, uh, the speed on this knife is very, very fast. So that's that's going to help out. But yeah, it's kind of kind of shit. All right, so the void, uh, we have... A couple options. Find the strong box with the arrow through in the sea near his house. And oh, I don't remember a guy throwing anything into the house. And then oh, that's right, that's right, because that was the dude that was crazy. Okay. Well, anyways, we have both of these lit up. Uh, I think they're both selected. Let's uh, cancel out of here. So you can see we got one, we got two. Is there anything down here? Does not look like it. So let's let's head in this direction. Now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Some of you guys have pointed out that I'm going to probably want to clear out each individual area before I move too much further, uh, as the game does tend to scale. Oh, that's kind of cool looking as you move further, which I guess makes sense. Uh, we found the old damn lookout. Good, good, good. And we're wanting to get up in that general direction. Now, this is where we were last night, apparently, when we got uh, Rick rolled. Um, 
hello? Oh, hi. No, 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 no. It's cool, bro. It's cool. It was just a prank, bro. Can I go in here? Yeah, we'll go in here. <clears throat> now, I don't know if that dude's going to follow us. He may. I didn't expect to have to deal with... Uh, that's an iron dagger? That damage I don't think is any better than our current one, is it? Damage 3, weight 2, value 8. I wonder what the difference between these is. I don't know. We are going to stick to the Iron Dagger. It does look kind of cool. Uh, I should probably favorite, favorite it, huh? Favorite, unfavorite, and then Q, and then 1. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're going to go back outside and deal with that here in a minute. Use traps and oil puddles to damage enemies before they detect you. What the fuck? Okay. Good God. All right. All right, hang on. Magic, uh, Shadows of the Wind, you're moving more silently for a short period of time and receive an additional 7% critical strike hands. All right, let's try it and see what happens. Yeah, that's not doing shit. I did get a crit there at the end. Really don't want to, why am I going through the walls? Hang on. Uh, potions. Decreases your arcane fever by 20%. Don't really care about that at the moment. Uh, probably should be careful not to spam that. Let's do power. Whoa! Holy shit! If I hold it down, my character does like a bunch of mass attacks. Whoa. Okay, let's, let's let our stamina regen real quick. Spider venom. All right. Watch this. Watch this. Hang on. That's a double attack. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's that's built into uh, Skyrim by default. If it is, I'm not familiar with it. Never experienced that before. That's kind of wild. All right, let's take potion. Wait, is there something there? That's weird that I'm seeing something. Ah, it's right there. Okay, that's what's causing that. Sorry, that was freaking me the hell out. Okay. Uh, iron ingots. I will take these. I don't know if we're going to do any crafting, but... A shield increases your armor rating even if you're not blocking with it. Blocking additionally increases the damage. Does it now? Okay. We will take the ambrosia. Uh, fermented goat milk. Hmm. I will take that axe. Destroy webs by blocking away with weapons or magic. Okay. And this is all... Yeah, I need to be careful with this here. Hang on. Really? Do I have any fire spells? I thought I did. Uh... I could have sworn I did. Maybe not. Okay, well, that's fine. Why is my dude making, like, a creepy growling noise? Okay, I have spider eggs. I can have my own legion of spider buddies now, I guess. Okay. And this appears to go nowhere. Oh, wait, wait, was there something there? Spider prey? I don't need a toolbox, thank you. Spider prey? Saw, no thanks. It's kind of weird. I don't understand. I guess those are people that were like kind of caught up in here. I, I really don't know. I don't get it. Uh, I will take that. Let you keep that flag and no interest in that personally. Jesus, I will say the game is kind of difficult starting off. Not going to lie, uh, at least from the rogue's perspective. <clears throat> now, I could use an axe instead of this dagger if I so wanted to. Is there a guy down here? Let's go and do a quick save. Yeah, he's still there. Let's jump down over here. Alright. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on... Good God, that's slow. Hang on. Easy, easy. Um, let's do... Blow it. Okay, easy, easy. I'd like to get a critical attack on this guy. Okay, that was 2x. Shit. Alright, stop sneaking. Stop. 
Easy. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, definitely need to get a better weapon. Or find a way to make this one better. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we'll take the iron. Did I just take everything? Oops. Oh, well, that's fine. I guess we'll deal with that later. Um, I'll take the badge of the apothecary. Take your arrows. I'll let you keep your longbow. I don't see any reason to keep that. What about you, buddy? What happened to you? Iron sword damage four. I'll take the apothecary thing. I'm going to let you keep the sword. Uh, we have an axe that has slightly better damage. Um, and I know there's the whole... What do you call it? Uh, what's the, the word I'm looking... Oh, hell yes. Can I not steal these? Really? Are you kidding me? It's... Oh, my God. That makes me mad. Um... I know in Skyrim that raw damage doesn't always equate to a better weapon in the aspect that some weapons start off because uh, the attack speed basically kind of needs to be taken into effect. So anyways, uh, I don't think this is the way we want to go because <clears throat> that's the direction we came from. Uh, we've already been inside of here. I think we want to go back up in this direction. Uh, I'm also a little disturbed that our mana is not increasing. Guess I can do a quick heal. Can I heal a little bit? Oh, it's 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 a it's a pulse. Okay, thirty-seven percent. So I'm I'm gonna need to be a little careful with that. Now it's interesting that my objectives are asking me to go. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm kind of confused on how to get to these locations. Because it's like, I need to be up there, but like, everything is pointing in a different direction. Because like, right now, I'm heading down in this direction. So yeah, if this is his camp, how the hell am I supposed to get over to here? I mean, I, I can, oh, I like that there's a find location. That's pretty nice. Uh, and I would like to set up a... <clears throat> Yeah, like a like a, an a objective point, so I could figure out how to get there. Cause I I think I'm pretty sure if I go back this direction, that it's not going to work out for me. Cause we want to go that way, but I believe that way is going to be on the other side. And there's there's like no like walkway up here, right? I didn't like miss that. No, this this is little cave. And I'm like 95% sure that back down here, that's a cool looking uh, mausoleum like setup. Yeah, so this is, this is one of the little like ancient crypts or whatever, and it's been shut down. There's no way to go up there. And back down here is just gonna be taking me to the direction that we've already come from, even though it, it does kinda look like this is where I want to go. Because down here, yeah, there's there's no way that I can tell to get up there into the to the to the valley, and if I go this way, yeah, it's taking us up over here. So there's there's a way to get over to that somehow, and I don't think it's this way. Cause yeah, cause we want to be up there, and I don't see any way to do that. So I think we're gonna have to just go explore around and and head in the other direction. I will say I don't really like that aspect of things, because it's kind of frustrating. It's like, here's your objective, bro, and it's in the direction that you can't go. And I mean, I understand it's a it's a, a roundabout path, but I don't know, from a gameplay perspective, it'd be kind of nice if it was a little bit more clear about where you want to go. Now, it does look like there's some kind of standing stone over here on the left. I'm not sure how far away it is, but uh, it looks like we're in a gully. And, and the other interesting thing is, uh, we seem to be in kind of like a valley or so, but whatever you call those, like I just called it a gully, but I'm not sure what you would actually call a valley like this. We're in a valley, and is it three? Yeah. We need to get up on the ridge, but we came from the ridge, which leads to the dungeon. And this area over here is simply just taking us to another like downed area. So I guess what I'm just gonna do is we're just gonna fucking explore around and we're gonna find the quest eventually, or we won't. And I'm, I'm sure one of you guys will correct me. Um, hello. Fuck off. Oh my 
question. Yeah. Oh. oh, shit! There we go. All right. That worked. Take the wolf pelt. Um, I I'm assuming if I just follow this ro Whoa? Might want to save. I'm assuming if I just follow this road that it'll eventually lead me where I want to go. That's the... Jesus. Okay. What the fuck is going on here? Definitely am not liking the, uh, the, the, the wall friends that we seem to be making. And this is kind of interesting because it, it looks like there's a path here, but there I don't think there is. Yeah. This is taking me up here, but I'm pretty sure this is not the pathway as I as I parkour myself around. There's the pathway. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Is that a bird? Okay. I will say this this game is beautiful. So I think the pathway is over here. Or was at one point in time? What the hell is that? Some kind of grave thing? Hmm. Alright. Jesus. And then we've got a couple points of interest down here that I'd like to check out. Again, I am feeling kind of trapped here. Which is weird. Because I, I don't feel like, like there was a path and the path dead ends. All right, well, we've got a tower here, and then we've got a boat there. So we'll check out both of these. Now, I can see my objective now. Uh, but again, I, I don't... No. Uh, remove marker. Yeah, my objective is out here in the ocean. Maybe this boat will take... Does something just shoot at me? Something's over here. I don't see anybody. Yep. There's something over here. Good God, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck! That's all you got. Yeah, that's that that is actually pretty much all I got at the moment. Alright, 39%. I'm gonna have to blow some ambrosia soon. You know what? Fuck it. Wow, if I could fucking hit the broadside of the bar and I'd be doing much better. Alright. Kinda felt bad killing you like that, but you did shoot at me for a little while, so... You can go fuck yourself. I will take the vagrant gear. I do like that. Um, I think I do anyways. We switch over. Now, I can use this, but this is heavy armor. And I'm assuming at some point in time that that's gonna be a problem. Uh, it may not be a problem yet, but I have a feeling that at some point in time it, it will eventually be an issue. Now that's zero armor. I will. That's zero gloves. Now I could put these on, but again, all heavy gear, and I don't really want heavy gear if I can, af or if I can, you know, avoid it. So I guess we'll stick with that. Um, there's a health potion, rancid. Thank you. Um, and I'm not sure if me resting is going to, because I, I can sleep in this bed. So at 6 p.m., let's sleep 12 hours. And I'm curious if this is going to, um, what do you call it, boost my health. Because if it will, then resting is going to be a pretty nice way for me to recover. If it's not, then I'm going to have to really start messing around with this uh, this fervor stuff. It does look like it did work. All right. And then, oh, wait, 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 wait. Sun Coast. So that's going to take me to the Sun Coast. There's also a castle over there. Um, I think I want to check the lighthouse out first. Okay, so we know we know where we need to go there. That's kind of a nasty little nook there. There's also a boat down there. I'm a little curious about that. I'm also a little annoyed that, uh, you know, here I am supposed to be like a stealthy guy. And I keep getting surprised by people as opposed to surprising them. Which is kind of counterintuitive here. The other thing that's kind of weird is uh, not getting skill points for using your craft, so to speak. So, uh, I'm only going to get skill points by reading books. Which is so weird. It's a weird design choice. 
I'm not saying it's a bad design choice. I'm just saying it's 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 a little different than what uh, what I'm used to. All right, I'm gonna try and get over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with stealth for now if I can. Looks like this is the dock where people would actually come and set up at. I'm hoping. Yeah, there's no way for me to climb that. Jesus. It's like I'm just trying to get up. Uh oh, what's detecting me? I don't see anything bad, but something is definitely detecting me. Oh, hello. What happened to you? Oh, is she sleeping? Let's uh, safe up. I can steal from her, but I don't really want to. Let's let's talk to her instead. No, no, you will not take her away with you. Uh, okay. You will not have her. Elfried stays with me and drop the disguise already. I know a god of death when I see one. I've been called a lot of things, but never a god of death. What? Oh, nice sword. Or dagger. Or whatever the hell it is. Although you are an elf, which means I automatically hate you. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I had a nightmare. One where you were an elf? Anyway, uh, who are you? I wasn't expecting to meet anyone else out here. Save for the bandits, that is. No, you were going to meet the bandits? No, I'm not. This ruin over there. You know, I'm a merchant, and my specialties are all kinds of things with historical background. The things you usually find in ruins. Right. Of course, I'm usually not stupid enough to go looking for them myself. But there was this traveler from Ark who told me about this place. The Three River Watch. And he said that it's hardly guarded. Wow. Well, since I was in the area anyway, I thought it wouldn't hurt to take a look. Great idea, really. Yeah, that sounds like a genius look, idea. Look, I know we just met, but truth be told, I really got myself into some trouble here. And you you look as if you know how to defend yourself. Something terrible <laughs> happened, and I simply don't know what to do anymore. Okay, so... Yes, my Elfried. She was kidnapped. By the stars, I was so stupid. We were just about to make camp for the night, and I went to search for some firewood. And then, just like that, she's gone. Is this like your daughter? Your lover? I mean... No, a Vatir. I heard him grunting, you know? He lives in that damned ruin. What the fuck is a Vatir? I tried to sneak in, but it's impossible. And I can't go back to Riverville for help either. That would take way too long. So you're just gonna sleep on Please, the ground? You have to help me. If anything happens to Elfried, I would never forgive myself. Right. Okay. Um. I, I'm sure I have something that's useful to you. But please, let's talk about that once you've saved uh -huh. her. Every second we waste puts her in danger. So do the hard work first, and then you'll work oh, with me. Oh, by the ancient fathers. Thank you, and hurry. Who the fuck are the ancient fathers? Um, all right, let's what? see if we can't... Uh, oh. Yes, sure. Make a little cash. Uh, buying prices are higher than selling prices, though. The same section at the bottom you can switch. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, so this is me. Uh, how much money does she have? I have... Oh, she has 480. Okay. Well, here, you can have an amethyst. Okay, so that's 75 gold. Let's see. 79... Okay, I'll get rid of the chain boots, the hauberk. Um, I'm gonna get rid of both of the knives. I'll get rid of the... I should probably keep one longbow. I want to keep... Okay, you can have the inevitable, inevitable beer. Of course, apparently you're taking that for free, which is fine, I guess. Um, angle iron? I guess you can have that too. Or those blueprints. I think... No, I don't know what the hell that is. You can just keep that. You can keep the crystal coin. I'll let you have the old sword. I only need one Vagrant Boots, you can have the other. You can have the Pickaxe. Actually, I probably should have kept that Pickaxe, huh? That would have allowed me to, uh, what do you call it, uh, craft. Well, not craft, but allow me to uh, mine stuff in there. Let you have that. So we're up to 130. Now, she's only gonna give me, like, for all these spells, like, like almost nothing. I'm not gonna use that, I don't think. I already know the bone, so you can have that too. 
That seems to be a pretty decent run. All right, what do you have that I might want? Anything? 62. God dang, woman, you are expensive. Fuck. Um, yeah, and the rest of this stuff is probably not going to really be worthwhile. Now, I am curious if she has any books or anything. I don't see any books. I think that's what this is, maybe? No. Yeah, these are just... Oh. Myths and Legends of Arvilta and the Wanderer. You can see it's a value of 62. So, the my curiousness here is I'm wondering if, if I could actually learn something from these books. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this. Since we're going to save. Well, bounce out. What save. Was, what? Now we'll buy. What? Oh, yes, sure. Okay. And then we'll click this. And then I'll buy both of them. And we'll see what happens. Thank you. Walk okay, items. Let's go books. Do I learn anything from this? Or is it just a pretty book? And stay safe. Started missing legends. Okay, find and defeat Arvad uh, the Wanderer. Okay, and then what about this one? Started the art of combat. Uh, the Wanderer tells of an assassin who combined his works with entropy and psionics. Interesting. So buying those. The fuck did she go? What the fuck? Oh, I was like, what the hell, man? Okay, so we're supposed to rescue this lady. Um, I guess we'll just mark all of this stuff on my map. Although, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that one's close. Uh, if we pull up our map, we can see, yeah, that one's damn near point blank. Uh, then we have these two quests, and the rest of the stuff, I don't know what we're supposed to pick up that from. Uh, kind of interesting and a little curious. Anyways, guys, uh, we will pick that up in the next episode. I want to thank all of you guys for watching this series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.